What's up guys? In today's video, I want to talk about the white vegan leather seats that Tesla puts in their cars. We've got the issue with blue jean transfer in our white Model X with white seats and I've got a detailer coming today to show us how we can get rid of it. Hopefully. Stay tuned. Here he is, the magic man. Let's hope. How's it going? <laughs> so here's Eric. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right. Typically how I take care of the seats is I just use baby wipes that I bought off Amazon. I bought a whole package of them because I knew I would be going through them and I wipe down the seats about once a week. But the issue is, is that we already had blue jean transfer on our seats when we got the Model X. We got it as a lease takeover back in June. And that's the problem is they were already there and the person that had it before us, I don't think ever wiped the seats down. So there was already some blue jean transfer there and I'm hoping that we can get it out. So here you can see the blue jean transfer on the driver's seat. This is on the side bolster that's closer to the door where you get into the car. And then here you can see on the passenger side where the passenger gets in, you can see the blue jean transfer on the side bolster of the seat. And here you can see a stain in the seat that's been there since we got the car. The process goes something like this. So what are we, what are we using? So today we're gonna use orange degreaser from 3D. 3D car care. Um, it's their mild form of degreaser. It's very good at interiors, bugs on the front, clean the carpets. It's just an overall good degreaser I like to use. Uh, we're going to be using it on the seats. Right now I'm soaking them where the jean stains are. I'm just going to let it soak, kind of let it break it down a little bit. So I'm soaking this entire section, making sure there's no runs. Um, if you get some runs, you're going to see it in the leather or in the plastics. Um, this is very good on the interior, so it's okay if it gets on the other carpets, on the other plastics. Uh, just make sure you just wipe it up. So with this process, I always like to, for each seat, I have a, a, a fresh clean towel. So how I do that is I have a bucket of clean water. I just kind of wring it out. I do that a few times and all the transfer that I get from the seats to the towel now ends up in the, in the bucket of water. Just do a really good ring out. And if the surface is really dirty, you'll definitely see it in the water. I mean, it'll start turning brown and by the end of the car, it should be almost black. So, nice clean surface starting off. These are my cheap throwaway Costco towels. They're good on interiors. I wouldn't recommend it on black paints, um, but overall cleaning is pretty good for that with that all right tell us about the deletion so with orange degreaser and LVP which is leather vinyl and plastics um, I like to dilute it four to one gives me a little bit stronger especially with 30 cars I just just to kind of knock it out so with the dilution ratio, you just fill it four to one and the rest with water. So you fill up your degreaser to here and just fill the rest with water. For the really tough stains, Eric recommended using a nylon brush. You know what kind of brush that is? Just a nylon nylon brush that I got from your, my local chemical place.
Yeah, that tastes really bad. Yeah. Okay, so now that the surface is cleaned, uh, we went through and knocked, knocked down as much uh, gene stain as we could. Now we're gonna go through with some alcohol. Tesla recommends this just to, for the heavier stains. So just gonna do a little bit on here. And just kind of, just go over it. Not sure how it looks on camera, but in person it looks a whole lot better. Smells good too. Nice clean. All right, so this is Nourish from um, Nanoskin. Uh, it's just a straight, straight filling. Um, there's not nothing to be diluted on. Um, this is my leather plastic conditioner. Um, there's a little bit of cleaner to it, but it's really meant to condition and almost like a lotion for the leather. Um, it really helps keep it healthy and gives it that leather scent to it. Let's soak this down that area where it's um, more dirty and then just a quick little mist through the rest. I was still gonna let that sit, but I'm gonna wipe down the rest of the leather just to give it a nice little condition to it. So a ceramic coating, it's very important to get your white seats done right away. Um, even on your paint too, but seats are very important just because a ceramic coating acts as a glass coating and It is flexible so you can sit on it bend it do whatever But one of the big things of ceramic coatings it is a protection protection layer It acts as a sacrificial layer towards chemical damage Well, Eric just left, and uh, let me tell you, I'm impressed. Uh, I can't believe that those blue jean stains came out. They're all but gone. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys in knowing how to take care of your seats. Um, what, I mean, you can clean the seats. It's not gonna get rid of some of the, of the leather, you know, wear, uh, the, the creases that are in the leather, because that's just the, the wear of the leather. But as far as the blue jean stain that was on the side bolsters of the seat, uh, it's all but gone. And I am, I am super impressed. I really appreciate it, Eric. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys know how to take care of your your white seats um, in your Tesla. Uh, I'll do a link in the description with all the products that he used and if you have any if you have any questions you guys can ask me and i can always ask eric uh, i'm also going to put a picture of his card up on the video so if you guys are local you can also reach eric to uh to have him detail your car if if you want um, but i thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you guys on the next one yeah.